Hi, Flores Becker here. Welcome to my channel. The question I want to ask today is, what would I sound like as an absolute beginner? But Dad, haven't you been playing for more than 25 years now? Hmm, yeah, okay, you got a point there. So, um, clearly that's going to be quite a challenge. Let's play on a left-handed guitar. So clearly this is uh, a right-handed guitar, but I restrung it to be a left-handed guitar for the sake of the experiment. So let's see what happens. I haven't uh, played a left-handed guitar ever in my life, so I'm not going to expect that much from it. First the E chord. Okay, let's see if I can do an A minor chord. C chord. Oh, this is weird. So one, two, three, four. Strumming hand is all over the place, as you can tell. Let's try the A minor pentatonic. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I can't remember. Learning how to play guitar was this difficult. Oh. Woo. And now, as a comparison, I will play some lines on my right-handed guitar. So how do we get from here to here? Let me explain. Aside from the fact that playing the guitar has some technique to it and of course uh, it takes some time to master, rhythm is a very big part of music. First you have to know the rhythm and second you have to learn how to play that rhythm and play it tight. So how do we learn rhythm? Funny enough it mostly comes down to singing or well it's more like a scat really. Dad what is scats? Cha 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 pa cha cha doobly da da do ba di cha pa pa cha cha pa pa cha do ba di ba doobly da da so it's singing rhythm. We play the guitar with our hands, but we control our hands with our brain, our mind. So in order to learn how to play a rhythm on the guitar, you first have to visualize the rhythm and then be able to sing it and of course sing it tight. So that you then can give your hand the right instructions to perform that rhythm. So if for instance I would play this guitar riff, <laughs> It would sound like this in a scat. When I ask a student of mine to perform a rhythm reading it from score, they most of the time start to play immediately, like so. No, 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 wait, wait. Um... No, uh... No, let me do it again. Wait, uh... No, no, that's not it. Wait, uh, I can do it. Um... <laughs> Recognize this? So then I give them the following task. First, over a rhythm click, you start singing the rhythm full length, and then right after, in the same pulse, you sing the rhythm while performing the rhythm on your guitar like this. One, two, three, four, ta, 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 pa, pa, ta, 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 pa, pa, ta, 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 pa, pa, ta, ta. 
This works almost every time and most of my students are able to play the rhythm right after singing it. My message to you is start scatting rhythm on a daily basis. I'm planning on posting many more videos on this topic in the near future, scatting rhythms, basic and then advanced, explaining them to help you on your way. Feel free to leave a comment and of course subscribe to my channel to stay informed and then I'll see you next time. Bye.